My friend and former colleague Eric is a member of the Lincoln Engineering Society. On the 29th of October 2022, Eric gave me the rare chance to visit the Abbey pumping station in Leicester to see one of the beam engines in steam. Built in 1891 by the Leicester Corporation, the pumping station was used to pump the town's sewage to a sewage treatment works at a place called Beaumont Lees, I think. The museum also houses a variety of static exhibits inside and outside showing various aspects of Leicester's industrial history. I was very taken with this model tram shown on display inside. The pumping station houses four Arthur Wolf, I think they're called, compound beam engines built by Gimson Company of Leicester. The cast iron flywheel fitted to each uh, beam engine are 21 feet in diameter. The rocking beams are fabricated from plain steel plate and are 28 feet long. smaller high pressure cylinder is 30 inches in diameter with a 69 and a half inch stroke. The low pressure cylinder is 48 inches in diameter and has a stroke of 102 inches. There are four beam engines, each of which is rated at 200 horsepower. The overhead travelling crane, as originally installed, is used to maintain the engines, particularly obviously for lifting the very heavy components. One of the things that I found interesting is the arrangement of the wiper brush to keep the teeth of the gears clean. I don't think I've ever seen that before on any engine. As a former civil engineer, I have a background in the water industry and I have to say I have never seen a blanking flange that looked like this.
Here the volunteers are demonstrating the wick feed drip oilers fitted to the centrepiece pivots of the rocking beams. I can never fail to be impressed by the ornate castings the Victorians used to adorn even the most mundane of engines. After all, these engines pumped sewage. A parting shot of a Lancashire type boiler, this one's non-operational, which would have been used to power the beam engines in the station. It just remains for me to thank Eric for organising the visit for me and also uh, a big thank you to the quite extensive team of volunteers who both took us round and actually look after and maintain this pumping station.